All right, Ryan Salson here with Accelerate Marketing, giving you guys the May update for local service ads. And I'm gonna give you guys just a rundown here. Let me just show my screen. I'm gonna go into my mail. Here's the general update. So you can see the local service ads permission updates have been changed here. You can see that what this really has to do with is, is the enforcement of these permissions is, you know, basically is live. They just want people to know. Before it was just administrative, read only, and billing. Now there's standard and email only. So this will give you, it just shows you exactly uh, what level of authority the people uh, will have if at each one of these levels of of permissions okay so this is just a, a new update just to give more options uh, one of the nice ones this is billing only so this will come in handy if you want somebody to just handle the billing and not anything else we have a new local service ads best practice guideline and I did create a separate video on that but anyway right now um, I do have another video that talks about all the different strategies and best practices that you can implement in order to get the best results out of local service ads they just go over a few here in addition to the three R's, uh, which is highlight your differentiators, uh, base your budget on the amount of new calls you wanna receive, uh, bid higher or go to max leads, uh, go to max price per lead, et cetera, uh, and much more. So, and then the other thing is, is that the verifications and onboarding uh, updates you can see. What if a uh, business failed background checks and the individual wants to dispute the results? Okay, so, not all providers who complete background checks will pass them. If you have a problem with the background check not getting approved as a, as a client, or even if you're an agency representing a client, then there are some ways that the individual, okay, the individual who the background check uh, belongs to can dispute in these ways, through evidence and then through Pinkerton, okay? and through those formats. Okay, so let me know. Um, this is kind of a quick update, but you know these are just some small changes, not a lot of really big changes this month. I mean, you know, giving people different permissions is nice, and now they're, you know, like, like we said, I mean, there's, there's five instead of three. I believe there's three before. And then this best practices um, guide is definitely kind of nice. Go and check out that other video. Um, we'll, we'll create a link to it. Uh, here or in the description and then also you know the verifications that individual needs to go back but there are procedures to follow in order to do that okay just want to give you guys an update let me know if you got any questions and thank you give us a thumbs up and uh, please like and subscribe to our channel uh, to get more updates like this on local service ads and all the other things uh, that have to do with you getting your phone to ring, okay, as a business. All right, thanks. Bye.